And if you guys want to see an elderberry bush, look at this. Never seen one this chuck full of berries before. This is an old farmer's house. Stopping to visit. Man, look at these. Your mother's still here? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. she drive up or fly up? She drove up. Oh. Yeah, she stays all summer, helps me with hay. <laughs> and then <laughs> she got... They left, what, November and come back in June. Eight months. Eight months. Wow. Wow. Good thing they didn't know do anything. Wallows fledge after you sprayed that seven dust into the nest then? No, or? I sprayed it when they get about half feathered out. Oh, okay. So but they fledged, right? They got out yeah. of the... They're a quarter of an inch uh, narrower and a quarter of an inch longer. Drive it? Yeah. Oh. What is this? A Massey 65? This goes, yeah, I want to get it this under. That was your puller? Yeah, it goes right up through that hole, see? Sets on the pulley. Where'd yeah. that big chunk of steel go? I got it in my hand holding it up here. Oh, that's, yep, I got you. These are the mirrors. Put them on a screen like this. Fastest way to get the elderberries off. These umbelette flower type crowns that they, that we have here. Put them across the grate. Falling into this bucket. And then I'll fill this bucket with water and all any of the um, stem material will float to the top. You just strain it out. And then I'll dry these elderberries and I will freeze them. So there's already quite a... Had these sitting here. Picked these at Sid's house. Oh, geez. A couple weeks ago. It's already September 11th. Day we play tribute to those lost in terrorist attacks on the U.S. Somber day for a lot of us. I remember where I was that day. I'm sure, I'm sure most people do. Anyways, these elderberries will, and look at that, nice and clean. That flower crown is uh, pretty clean there. And these dry them off and they freeze really good like little BBs. You can just pull them out and use them uh, later on, but they freeze excellent and so it's a good way to do elderberries. Yeah, so I'm saying September 11th because these things they are out of season now here in Southeast Michigan. The birds get these really quick, elderberries. So I get that, harvest them over at Sid Taylor's every year, an old farmer, neighbor. He's got the best elderberry bush I've ever seen. It's got a woody stem trunk, the thing is huge. And uh, he said it grew up next to an old shed that he had there, which is real common. You see elderberries on farms ever since I was a little kid. Growing on, um, they grow good on next to old farm buildings. And then you see them in wetlands a lot, in ditches, swamps. So, there you go. Look at how, look how clean that is. I don't even, this is so clean. I don't even see any reason to dip this in water and clean out any petioles. So, nice fast way to get elderberries uh, cleaned out.